Now I'm set up. I'm ready to go. Watch. I can just go over here, put on a white screen, and select a pen, and I'm ready to draw, and I'm ready to work. I can use it as a mouse pointer, or I can use it as an actual pen. If I am want to erase, I just double click the eraser over here in Smoothboard 2. In the old Smoothboard, you'd hit that once. Now you just hit it twice to erase everything. And you have many, many new great little options and features. Let me try to go through them for you. Smoothboard 2 allows you to make the pen different sizes. So you go here, click Size, and you have a selection of eight different sizes to work with. This will be the size of both your pen and your uh, eraser if you want to use the regular eraser. So watch this now. See how big my pen size got? And then if I go down to a smaller pen size, very simple, I get a smaller line. Now I can also change colors right inside the smooth board. But I also, if I was working in a different program like, oh, say, GIMP, the photo editing program, or Adobe, or Corel, if I was working in a drawing program, I would have access to all the 16 million colors that those amazing programs have. Here at Smoothboard, we have eight, which is perfect for simple lessons and highlighting and getting a different shapes and colors to things that you're talking about. So we have red, blue, gray, black, we have white, we have yellow, green, and purple. I'll use green here for now, just to illustrate. We have all these great new colors. We used to have just four different pens in the older version of Smoothboard. Now Smoothboard 2, 8. Excellent. Also, really cool, is we have shapes to work with now. So if I'm not so good at drawing a straight line, that's okay. I can go over here and select the straight line tool, and then notice how it's following wherever my IR pen goes to form a, a nice, straight, perfectly straight line. Definitely a good thing to have if you're in a math class and you're trying to talk about equations of straight lines. But there are other shapes available too. Let me change color just so it's prettier and look at some of the other shapes. We have a rectangle. We have a circle or, or oval. Very pretty. We have an arrow if you want to draw attention to something. So where you start, that, end, that part will not have an arrowhead. Where you end, that's where the arrowhead will. So I can draw attention to, hey, look at that great rectangle I just drew. Yeah, see, that one right there. Mm -hmm. And we have a squiggly line. This kind of is not too different than the normal drawing mode. Basically, that's the one you use all the time for drawing. Okay? Now, here's another feature that's really cool. This is kind of like an eraser, but it's a lot uh, more user-friendly because all you do is click one button, and then the very last thing you did gets erased. A real time saver. See, my arrow went just poof, bye bye. But what if I made a mistake and I erased it accidentally? I can redo with this button right here. Boom. See, it comes back. Go away. Come back. Very fun. Very, very powerful. We have our highlighter down here. I want to highlight. Notice the difference that this changes the color of what you're drawing, but it doesn't completely make it go behind with the background. You can still see through it a little bit. The highlighter is a little bit transparent. So that's a nice feature to have. If you want to call attention to text, but still let somebody read it, well then, you use the highlighter. We have a cursor that takes us automatically back out to our Windows mode so we can go ahead and use the mouse again. We have access to all of our programs. We have access to any feature of any program 
that works with a right click easily. And also, with presenter mode, I can bring up a left click button really easy too. See that? The left click menu will come up wherever I had just right clicked. So see, I right clicked up there. Watch now, when I pull the trigger on the Wii remote, the presenter one, then my right click menu comes up. My other Wii remote is still there doing the whiteboard stuff. This one is here helping me out with left clicks and other things like that. Now, Smoothboard also has a PowerPoint mode, an actual mode that's designed to work well with Microsoft PowerPoint. Let me erase everything. Let me start PowerPoint and show you everything we got over there. So, there you go with our open documents over here. Open up my solving absolute value equations. And then I can actually just start the slideshow. Notice how accurate it is. Just with 50%, 55% screen resolution, I can click on tiny little buttons like that. No problem. We will find them, execute that command right away. Now, I'm going to be covering this in another video, but it makes a good example of how to work with PowerPoint. <clears throat> I brought up my first slide. Um, Smoothboard, it will actually detect that PowerPoint has started and automatically put itself into PowerPoint mode. So, we're ready to do our presentation. Now watch. I can work with the Wii Remote Control, my presenter one, just like a, a mouse presenter. I can go to the next slide with page down. See that? I'm not using my IR pen, although I could. You've probably seen me do that in other videos. If I want to go to the next slide, I can do it with the pen. Or, I can do it with the Wemo down button, which is what I've mapped to. What if I want to go back a slide? Well, I can just use the up button. See that? Right back to the beginning of the presentation. I can go next slide, next slide, next slide. Oh wait, you have a question about the previous slide? Okay, I go back. Go back to the previous slide. Really works well. So, that's all for this video. That's Smoothboard 2. Oh, wait a second. Before I go, I want to show you a really, one really cool new feature. Actually, it's kind of three. Uh, let me get out of PowerPoint. Does it escape? Sometimes you do have to resort to the keyboard. No getting around it. And notation mode. Now, if I go to the screen button here, I can still take a snapshot of what I was working on, but if you prefer kind of a gray background instead of the white background, that is now available. Click on screen, you click on this button right here, you get a gray background to draw on.